Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have trees. <laughs> All the oak trees I planted have grown up, and they are obstructing our view, so we might not uh, plant the ones closest to us. Uh, maybe, we, maybe we'll do, like, evergreen trees or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, let's see. What are we going to do today? I've got some things to update you guys on in terms of our progress with our horde base and stuff. Oh, don't be leaving this open. That is not a good idea. Um, and we are going to upgrade our carpenter's bench in this episode and hopefully start making some steel arrows. So let's do the carpenter's bench first. Uh, I have a saw and my cheapest carpenter's axe here. And then if we go to the upgrade, everything else we already have. I really like this pulling from the chest business. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and upgrade this now. Boom. And there she is. Tier 2 carpenter's table. Isn't that awesome? Um, and we could still take this to tier three at some point. Um, I have, I do have, ooh, I thought I have a table saw. You know what? I think I left it back at the old base so we can go back and get it when the time comes. Um, we could, st we could actually do this right now except for the research data. But anyway, um, I want to see now, can I make steel arrows, stone arrows, crossbolt, stone, iron crossbow. Hmm. It does not look like I can make steel arrows in here. That's a uh, kind of a bummer. Uh, do we do that in the ballistics table, actually? Let's see, ballistics table's up here. Crossbow bolt. Ah, okay, so, so we do make the steel arrows here. We need Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 4. Um, unless, can we, is that something we could research? Let's see, iron arrow, stone arrow, steel arrow. No, it doesn't look like it. We're going to have to find the, we're going to have to find the thingy for that. Uh, but you know what we could do? We could make one of these. Do we have room for another mod? Yes, we have room for two more mods, actually. Crafted and ballistics table. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then, um, what else could we put on our bow? It's already got the string on it. Our blue bow here does. And it's got a purple level composite string too, which is really nice. Uh, I don't, let's see what else we have. I might have something else that could go in there. Not sure. We already got the string. Uh, you can't put a scope on it. We might be able to put a weapon flashlight on it just to make it a little bit stronger. Or maybe even this. I don't know. Can we put that on it? Let's take a look. Ah, we can put the Crippler on it. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so it was 5.5. This adds 11 damage to it. And then when we put the Arrow Rest mod on it, that will make it even better. So it looks like we're going to have to stick with iron arrows for a while longer until we can find that magazine. All right, so what does this do exactly? It uh, arrow improves accuracy of the bow. Okay, nice. So let's go here, modify. And it also increases our damage by 16 and a half now. So really nice. Okay, cool. Um, so that being the case, let's go ahead and make some more iron arrows. Then I think I have, oh yeah, we got tons of iron arrowheads. My goodness, we got a lot of those. Um, let's just make, say another 50. And you know what? I keep forgetting. I don't have to, I don't have to pull this stuff out of here either. Um, why is that in my inventory? Wasn't that, oh, you know why? Cause it pulled it from the thing. Yeah. Okay. It pulled it from here instead of from my own inventory. That's why. That's why that's the way it is. Okay, so yeah, we can just make everything right from here. Um, so let's just make another 50 of these for now. Oh, man, that is just beautiful. Just beautiful. And I did, you know, I made a note in the last episode to this effect, but I figured out that what you have to do is you have to turn this broadcast thing on uh, in order to to pull from this particular thing. And I I hadn't figured that out until, you know, uh, I was editing that video later on. So, all right, let's take a look and see what's going on here in terms of upgrades. We do need some food, so let's 
Throw back a, a couple of bacon and eggs. Maybe even three. Um, I do, by the way, uh, I have found the gumbo recipe. And I actually made some gumbo because I had some had the stuff for it. Uh, but I have since consumed that because I've been doing a lot of mining and stuff like that. So beef, peas, and can of stock are now like gold. We will We no longer eat those straight up absolutely taboo to eat those straight up i've got four peas and another thing of soup stock but i don't have any beef so uh, we're going to start you know paying more attention to vending machines to get that because that gumbo soup is like some of the best food in the entire game uh and the best thing about it is it doesn't require vegetables um you know potatoes and corn a farm in other words to make it so that's what makes it such a good thing we should probably go uh, hang out uh, or go see the trader and sell some stuff too. I got more stuff I could go through and sell, but I just haven't had time really to do that. In fact, you know what? Hmm. Maybe let's not. Let's bring our coin with us. Well, okay, what's it going to take to repair these? It's going to take a bunch of iron plating, and I actually need iron plating for some other stuff. So, yeah, let's not... Um, Let's not sell anything that needs to be repaired at the moment. But, well, these actually probably just need pipes, right? Or do those need iron? I can't remember. Plastic? Okay. That's easy enough. That's a that's a, uh, an S-level supreme or super or whatever level baton, too, for 523 coin. Yeah, if, if that's all it takes. I got so much plastic, I don't know what to do with it. Um, but yeah, these guys take the iron scrap and I don't want to use scrap for that right now. Or not scrap, I'm sorry, plate. Okay, so what's going on over here? We've been making concrete, we've been making iron and steel, um, but I've been using it too. So right now I've got 51 steel plating and 6 iron plating uh, cooked up and we still have 38 more iron ingots. I've been trying to get down at night and mine, but where my mine is, I was going to show that to you guys in the last episode and I forgot, so we'll do that in this episode. Uh it can be a little bit tricky for me to get down to it because, you know, the zombies at nighttime are on feral sense and they just, you know, they're almost nonstop attacking me and they can hear me all the way up here. However, that being said, this little um, setup that I got here is working very, very well uh, because basically it lets me kill all the zombies. Um, and, you know, they, I hit them. If it doesn't outright kill them, they fall down and then they have to, you know, a lot of times they'll fall off the bridge and have to run all the way back up and around. Uh, so it's a good crowd control thing, and it's this is actually going to be our second fallback to the horde uh, after the first two options that I'm going to show you guys. So uh, before we go down, uh, whoops, don't leave that open. I got myself in trouble. I didn't wasn't killed, but Zombo came up when I wasn't ready for it, and that wasn't good. Let's grab this concrete because we're going to do some stuff with concrete. And I've got 11 uh, brick blocks. I couldn't figure out on this mod how to make the rebar, uh, you know, the actual rebar blocks, like the vanilla game for going directly to concrete. Uh, it may not either be available or maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, let's take a look and see what I've got going on. I'm not, uh, I'm not completely finished yet. And this is just kind of the first phase of this if you will well you know we'll we'll improve it as time goes on but here's the plan for the first uh the first what what you call it stage of the horde base i guess i'm gonna make use of this elevator shaft here now i don't know if zomba doodles will blow up in water um, and if they don't, then I'm going to remove that water. But if they do, then that could be interesting. Um, let's see if we can bring a Zeke. Uh, get somebody's attention. And let's just test this. Okay, we got... Uh, I don't want to get... I don't really want to get um, ball sacks attention. Let's try this guy here. Uh, you know what? Screw him. He's not a feral anyways. Let's just get him. Okay, come on, asshole. Oh, we, <laughs> we didn't hit Ballsack. We hit Edgar. Look at him coming. Oh, my goodness. 
Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have him follow us down here. Uh, get up. Then we're going to block him. And I'm going to upgrade this to concrete. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted to do there. All right, well, anyway, here, let's get back up here now. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to work. And if it doesn't, then I'll I'll just displace all that water. And normally, you know, we, we would be standing up there, but for this test, let's just throw the bomb down there and see if it actually damages him. It does. Okay. It does damage him. Interesting. Okay, with him kind of swimming around in the water down there, it might, it might, it, um, minimize or reduce, maybe is probably the right word, the amount of damage that they'll do because they're, you know, busy trying to swim in the water. And those four blocks, I'll, I'll break those out of there so they're, so they have to tread water. Uh, that's good to know though, man. I didn't, I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Okay, so uh, I want to patch this up here. We could, um, there's, no, there's no reason not to leave an opening right here for them to get down there. Because the idea is, I'm standing up there, the horde's coming after us, and some of them hopefully will, will fall down into the pit, and then we just drop bombs on their head. That's the idea behind all of that. Okay, so why don't we patch this up here? For now. All right, and then we'll go around to this side. And we'll hit that too. So we can leave this open and we can leave that open for the for the zombies to fall down below. Now let's go back down into the basement here. Um I don't want this block like this and unfortunately we're gonna have to break it now uh, but I think we're gonna have to remove something to get that to work probably this lining thingy is what's blocking that so yeah let's break this look at that mining tools level 90 man I've been using this pick like crazy There we go. Okay, so we'll upgrade that to concrete. And, you know, if this works uh, well enough, I might even um, upgrade it to steel, too. Um, but I want to I wanna see how well it does first before I, it, you know, spend steel on it, because that's pretty darned expensive. All right, so next thing. Let's go up here. And I want to go down into the pit for a second and knock out those blocks. Um, so let's do that next. Hopefully no zombos come by while we're down here doing this. Oh, shit. Seriously? There we go. Guess I'm gonna have to stay submerged while I do this. Come up for air every once in a while. Yeah. Oh, it filled in. Okay, good. Huh. It, the way... Oh, we did lose some of the water out of here. I was going to say, I thought it was deeper than this. Uh, all right. I got a, I got an idea for, for fixing that. Let's get up here. You must repair this. I don't have anything to repair it with, so... 
We break it. Okay, let's get out of there. All right, we're going to go back down to the basement here. Shit. Where's that coming from? Come on, feral hunter zombo. He's dead. I hear more footsteps. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to break this bottom one back out and we'll put a, a half block in there. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Are you coming over here or what? What the hell's he doing? You gonna drop down through that holder? I don't know. Uh oh. Did he drop in the pit? He dropped in the pit. <laughs> okay. Alright, is that water gonna flow back down in there? Uh yep, there it goes. I don't know, is it? gonna fill it all the way up though maybe not we might have to um, get a bucket down here and see if we can refill that in well but what we're gonna do is we're going to and that's what we want there okay good now let's just repair the damage that he did so yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I'll get a sh uh, a shovel, or not a shovel, I'm a bucket, and bring that down here. And oh, is this? Yeah, that's five thousand concrete. It won't let me um, repair it though because I'm not submerged. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Anyway, okay, so I'll get a bucket. And, and fill that back in down there. And then we'll see how this works. It might work really well, and it might not. You know, we'll just have to try it out, and if it doesn't work so well, then we'll figure something else out. But I thought it'd be a good place to try. Now, uh, I have broken out those stairs there. Let's kill ball sack here. Uh, yeah, so I've broken out those stairs there, and I also broke this ramp out here. And boy, what that was a pain in the neck. Um, took me a long time and a couple repair kits to break that all out by hand. But, you know, I, I didn't want to use a Valkyrie drill because I don't have enough gas, A, and B. That sucker calls in screamers like you wouldn't believe. So, yeah, that just wasn't working out. Got some... Whoa! Zombos over here, being a pain in the butt. Okay, let's jump up here, up here. I might put a hatch down there or something just as an easy way to get up. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, the plan then is for us to stand in here. I'm going to get have all these bars upgraded to steel by the time the Horde Night starts. And, uh, you know, I set this little railing in here so I don't accidentally, you know, fall in myself, of course. And uh, then we're going to drop bombs on their head, and we'll just see how, how the Horde Knight goes. Now, if this, you know, if uh, this little um, shaft, elevator shaft, becomes compromised, um, then what we can do is um, we can run up here and over across this way, and then... Um, well, actually, yeah, I might have to do something to make this a little faster. There's a spot here that I can jump over. But uh, if we go all the way to the top, then this is the, the first fallback. So we just jump across to here. So that way there's nothing connecting these two buildings. And then 
what I've done here now is, and I'm not quite finished working on this yet. Um, I'm probably going to put maybe like a half block in here so I don't accidentally fall through. Uh, but basically, I've created like a little chute here. And again, the idea being that the zombies will kind of, you know, cluster around underneath us. And then again, we just drop bombs on their head. So this is fallback, our first fallback location if, you know, that fails for some reason. Okay, now if this fails, then we go back to our base and we fight him here. Now, all that little kind of covered thing that I made up here, uh, that's going to all be upgraded to steel. And I've, the ladders are iron, but I'm going to upgrade the ladders to steel eventually too. Plus, we have the steel hatch here. And then, um, how come that zombie's not co Oh, here she comes. Okay. And this, like I said, this works really well uh, for getting these zombies to, to come up here. Um... And, you know, I just sit here and then, whack, you know, play whack-a-mole. Uh, occasionally, they they ha were able to glitch through. So I put this this little um, quarter block up there to... I'm going to have to upgrade that a little bit. And this would be fallback place number three. And, of course, if this fails, then we're hosed. Uh, but it does, like I said, it does seem to work pretty good. Oh, by the way, um, I killed a... I think it was a ball sack or a cop or something up here uh, off camera and I got a chainsaw, a purple chainsaw. Here's the footage from that. Yeah, so that was a nice find. Uh, we're not going to use it yet until we can ma manufacture our own gas, but it, it was really cool, uh, you know, to get that find. Okay, so that's pretty much our plan, guys, for, for the next Horde Night coming up, which is 63. And, you know, like I said, as time goes on and as I get more resources and, and that sort of thing, upgrade our workstations more and can do more things, you know, we might... Uh, we might improve upon the design and do some other things uh but i think i i feel good about this setup for 63 because i feel like you know we'll be able to survive it whether or not we um you know can get a crap ton of xp from it uh that remains to be seen but I, i'm pretty confident that we'll be able to survive it because you know that's a pretty stout building it would it, they could definitely take it down but it would take them a long time uh to do it and i just can't see the horde you know us having to fall back to our second fallback place here on horde night 63 um i mean anything's possible right but i think we'll be good okay so that pretty much wraps up uh getting you guys caught up with where we are do we have any points to spend we have oh shoot we have three perk points to spend okay so we were working on getting intellect to nine um i think i think we're just gonna do that um, so, yeah, I'm going to need another point to get this, uh, two points to get this to nine. And then th that way we're done with it. Uh, I'm not going to take intellect all the way to ten because our nerdy glasses will, will give us an effective ten. Primarily so that we can be five, uh, you know, level five with demolitions expert on the Horde Knight. Um, and then, you know, eventually we can get better barter all the way up to five. We can get lock picking up to uh, up to four drone specialists, salvage operations, and you know when we're using all that stuff, I can I can wear the nerdy glasses to get that effective five. Um, okay, so that takes care of the points that we currently have. So we still have a couple more days, and like I said, I'm feeling pretty good now about where we're at in terms of uh, being ready for the horde. I do need to make you know more bombs and stuff like that, but you know we'll, we can do that. So. We need to get back to questing and looting so we can get research notes uh, and books uh, so that we can continue, you know, doing the upgrades that we need to do. So let's go ahead and head on over to the trader. Um, and we do also have this quest, too. The thing is, though, is I don't think we're going to have enough time in this episode to do our quest. Uh, it's a tier two fetch and clear. Um, but let's at least go to the trader, sell the stuff that we do have. And um, see if we can get some stuff for Gumbo Stew. 
And I also want to take a look at these uh, these trees too. Yeah, those suckers are grown up, aren't they? Yeah, we might have to cut these ones down. Um, probably maybe these two down and maybe put some evergreen trees down there instead. Uh, but that's cool, though. You know, we got that all that wood now. All right, let's grab the bicycle. We still desperately need gasoline. So, again, like I said, we're... Oh, shoot. I should have... Here, let me put some of this stuff back. Hold on a sec. Oh, I just realized I forgot to show you guys the mine. Let's go take a quick look at that before we run over to the trader. So we'll head back down this way. I, you know, I wanted the mine to be away from our base so that, uh, you know, we don't have to worry about, like, SI issues, digging underneath the base, that sort of thing. Uh, so what I have currently going on is, um, hello? Hello? All right, so we basically come down into the bank vault here. And I have uh, an opening here that goes down into the mine, but let's deal with these assholes first. Come on, boys. Whoa. Out of stamina. Stay down. Give me a chance to get a little more stamina back. There we go. Okay, so so this is basically poor man's mine, and meaning that it's it's a, a ramp going down because again I just don't haven't had the resources to build a shaft with a ladder, but I do eventually plan on doing that. Uh, but basically, this goes all the way down to bedrock. Uh, so this is bedrock here, and then we come out to this cavern, and this is bit this has just been a big pocket of iron. Here and you, as you can see, there's still a lot of iron left. Uh, so I've, I've mined all the way out out to here, and then there's a, a nitrate pocket here, and there's some. There was a little bit of lead over here too. Uh, it was kind of right here, but it might it might go up some more. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, there you know, like I said, there's lots of iron here. So the plan is, you know, to to mine out the first two blocks, and then I'll I'll start mining upwards. And going from there, but I I like to do this down at bedrock just because it puts me as far away from the zombies as possible, and and you know they still can detect me at nighttime with feral sense on, but I'm so far below them. Um, plus, there's buildings and stuff up above that area that you know it it doesn't make it easy for them to get to us. So that's the the current uh, situation with the mine. Okay. So let's head on out, and we're going to go uh, to the trader, sell some stuff, see if we can get some ingredients for some more gumbo. Okay, let's see uh, what we got here. Um, we need... Nope, he doesn't have anything in here for gumbo, but we will take the Skull Crushers and the Atom Junkies. I already have some sugar butts. I do need some more rock busters though, so let's buy some of those. And we have four cans of peas, but let's just keep buying it so we, so we have plenty plenty of peas. Okay, let's sell a couple things to let's you. Trade. And I haven't looked at their inventory in a few days either, so it would be just absolutely amazing if they had a gas can schematic for sale. And that, and I think that's all we want to sell. Our armor bandolier. We already have one of these. You can only wear one. They don't stack. I'm just double checking. Oh, wait, no. A chest armor. Oh, we're not wearing a bandolier. Or are we wearing it here? Yeah, we're wearing it on our pants. Okay. So, yeah, let's just sell that to him. Mm, actually, you know what? I should save that and put it on some armor and sell it to make more money. Yeah, that's what I should do. Okay. All right, let's look at the his stash real quick. Uh, we have an extra beaker already, and we need that needed that for something that we got to make at some point. He's got gasoline. How much? Oh, geez, that's expensive. 
That is so damned expensive. I ain't doing it. <laughs> Dude, can you get the gas schematic instead? What does this do? Mail, uh, sneak 5% better at night for twelve seventy-five. dollars eh. It's a gyrocopter accessories kit. Yeah. That's sort of kind of oh, tempting, but we'll probably eventually come across that. If it was the arrow, steel arrow buck, I would buy it without even blinking. Okay, let's see what this dude's got. Knives and swords. You know, I was thinking it would be nice to have some dynamite. Um, You know, when I was breaking out of all those blocks. But for... T mm, I don't know if I want to spend 2,000 bucks on a man. I don't think I do. Take care. Take care. All right, let's go run over to the other trader real quick. I've got some stuff stashed in here, too. Can we grab all of it? Ooh, we've got some good stuff in here. Yeah, we can grab it all. Well, let's grab the box, too. And remove that. There's another drop chest somewhere else uh, show on map oh right there okay um that bird's gonna give us a hassle as soon as we jump on a bike well let's go over to the trader first and then I might I could pop a steroid maybe and get the rest of that stuff but we'll see Look at you dodging my swing. Not that it did you any good in the long run. Got the dog here. And another Zeke over there. Nice. Love that arrow rest mod, baby. I can already tell the accuracy is a little bit better. And Lord knows I need it with my potato aim. You're not dead yet? Shit. Well, that's a different dog. What the hell, man? Okay. Close the door. Son of a bitch. I really do not like these new doors. Um, okay, so we are messed up. So let's take a honey. And a vitamin. And the rest of it's just a sprain. So we'll just have to let that wear off. Okay, let's check Hugh's inventory. Come in here unzipped. I'm not unzipped. What you talking about, man? Those are plus four, so those aren't any better than the ones we currently have. Brinks's Fury. Uh, no. <laughs> that ain't happening. Not for that price. Goodness gracious. Okay. Let's check his secret stash. Man, I sure wished he had the, um, uh, an old coupe for 96000 Yeah, I don't think so. I sure wish he had that, that arrow book. Maybe he, maybe one of these hunters will one of these days here soon. But, yep, you know, he doesn't really have anything that we're interested in. Is there something in this stash that we just picked up that I would sell to him? Not really. I think all of that we... Uh, this is actually completely um, repaired, so let's sell that to him. Uh, we wanted to keep that and put that in armor, right? Yeah, okay. Everything else needs to be repaired before we sell it. So we get maximum De Niro's. Narrows. Well, about All time right. you bought something. Do you have ingredients for chicken? Yeah, he's got two large beefs. Let's get the rockbusters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start buying um, hackers too. I need to do some, um, some salvaging. We'll get that, and I think we'll just leave the rest of that in there for now. How much coin do we have at the moment, by the way? Nine ninety four forty five. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, uh, I'm gonna probably just take the rest of this day 
And I'm going to wrench my way back uh, to to the base. Um, just hit cars and stuff. Oh, shit. No, I don't want to mess with the bear. Uh, well, I'll just hit cars on the way back. Uh, if it's a car that I haven't looted yet, I'll make sure I record it in case I find something spectacular. Um, and then the plan for tomorrow will be that we'll jump back into questing for the traders and keep looking for uh, research data and the gas schematic and all that stuff that we still really, really need. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. And go, go down the road, Bear. There you go. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.